Welcome to To Enable Help. In this module I'm going to explain to you how to make a contribution, a resource contribution uh, to the platform. What you do is you access the content as if you um, were wanting to um, view it and in this case I'm going to choose Physical Science Grade 10 and um, you select the, the week that you wish to uh, contribute the content into and here is Models of the Atom and you will notice obviously these are there are already quite a few resources in this space and uh, in this on the general user side you've got three types of resources you have a, a video you have a PDF and you have a web link um, and those are generally the, the types of resources we can upload for in the resource space instead of asking you to upload a video for here we actually ask you to upload it to YouTube and to give us the link to that video and then we'll do the rest um, on the teacher resource side is somewhat different. Uh, here we can actually upload PowerPoints, Word, Documents, Excel. Uh, so it could be memos, it could be anything of consequence, but in more of a document type format. Um, so if we go now to a contribution, so if I were to contribute, uh, what is uh, important to understand is we can we choose where we want to actually upload so we can upload to a PowerPoint uh, document into this resource tab so when we say student resource tab we mean this general resource tab we can upload a web link into this resource tab so that would either be a web page or it would be a link to your, your video on YouTube and that's important to emphasize uh, please upload your video to YouTube first and then give us the link to that to that YouTube video and then a teacher resource is, is anything that you would load into this tab for teachers so if I select a teacher resource and I'm going to just, uh, I've already copied the name of, of, um, of the BNS. So I'm going to go isotope, so I'm just going to make the formatting correct. Control C e, and I'm going to just put to enable. Um, and I'm now going to upload the resource. The first thing it does is it actually opens up a I've got to go and find it, but this is in unknown physical science grade um, week three, and it's uh, isotopes relative atomic mass. So I've selected the, the PowerPoint that I wish to upload, and um, depending on the size of the resource, it's obviously going to take um, it'll take longer for bigger resources, and it depends on the, the speed of your internet connection. These are terms and conditions uh, which we're asking you to sign or agree to, and basically what we're saying is that this resource belongs to you and we are not asking you uh, to give us ownership of the, of the resource. It will always be owned by, by you. What we are asking is that um, we can use it because we will be distributing it and in some and in learning centers we will, we will be downloading it. So you're giving us permission to download and distribute the content that you're contributing into the site. And um, anyway, those are the terms and conditions which, which permit us to, to access your, your content. Uh, and if you accept that, it will then upload the content. If you if you cancel at that point, it will not upload your content. So that's really the, the trigger point for you to decide whether you want to continue or not. And the, here it says resource contribution has been saved successfully. Now, you will notice it has not been added into this space. And the reason it has not been added into, <coughs> into that space is that we will first approve it. Okay? We're not just opening this up that anybody can contribute to anything at any time. And um, what happens is as an administrator, and I will now open a screen for an administrator, you, we will uh, review that resource in the administrator screen. And uh, just close that so it will refresh. Resource contributions. There you can see the grade 10 physical science. And here I can I can view it and I can approve it and reject it. So if I uh, approve the resource, um, it's going to load up what I um, the details of the resource. And at this point, I can change it. So one of the things you need to appreciate is this, is that we might actually change some of the details if you've got your formatting incorrect and, and to try and standardise the look and feel of the content on the space. And then we will create that. Now, basically, what we've done is is we've been we have uh, approved the resource that you have contributed and and I'm now hoping that if I go back into physical science and it reloads physical science that in fact uh, that resource will appear there. So I might have to do this a second time to demonstrate it correctly. 
in fact it hasn't it hasn't loaded it yet so but that is the process uh, the process is that you will upload uh, your content into the space first and then there you can see we're still busy uploading um, and then once it's been uploaded we will then approve it um, or reject it depending on, 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 on the content itself and then once it's been approved it will then appear in that site and um, I hope that uh, helps you and, and convinces you that uh, we would welcome any contribution you can make uh, we believe uh, that certainly the content that we have on the site can always be improved and perhaps you've got that content that will improve what we have got to offer um, it is a free site and uh, we're not charging people to access it and um, certainly if we can make it into a wiki site which which is useful to you and and to those who access it it'll be fantastic thank you very much